simply open the box here. And when I, when I take out the box, there's a few basic things in it. We have a um, power lead, uh, we have a remote control, and we have an information. There's no SCART lead, no HDMI cable, and there's a little technical manual here as well, okay? So, um, the first thing I'll do is, I can just put this box here and there. I'll just turn around the back of the satellite box. Um, in terms of inputs, there's an input here, LNB in, and this will take a feed directly from a satellite dish, similar to this one here. This is a Sky Zone 2 satellite dish. Um, this is clearly just for demonstration purposes. And in terms of outputs, how to feed the signal from the satellite box into the television, um, you can use a HDMI cable uh, uh, lead, uh, a HDMI out slot here, and there's also a TV slot here to allow you to run it with a SCART lead. So obviously it's preferable to run it with a HDMI cable, simply because um, if you want to get the HD effect for the channels that are HD, they'll only come in via this cable. Um, so it's a two pin plug, um, so what we do here is uh, you can just put an adapter on it for things like this. We have a basic plug here, an adapter, simply slot it in like that, and shove it into the back of the thing. You could equally just um, you know, use a phase tester and, and put the plug in uh, yourself manually. Uh, so that's it, the, the power has been put in. Uh, the satellite box is initially, it'll come on in the off position. You can turn the satellite box on this way, okay? So we'll just leave it off for now, there's the off switch. Now, we have a, a lead that's coming from a satellite dish outside. And um, what we do is we screw this into the LNB slot here, LNB in. So we screw it in like this, that's it. The next um, cable I connect, this is a HDMI cable coming from the back of the television um, and it's going to feed directly in here into the satellite box. And then the final thing is, this is an optional thing, we can also connect with a SCART lead, okay? I'll leave the SCART lead off for now actually because um, it'll, it'll probably override the HDMI. So the next thing I do is I simply come along and I hit the switch on the back of the satellite box and turn it on, okay? Now with SCART leads, when the SCART lead is being used, um, to connect a satellite box with television, it'll normally automatically flick the television over to the particular um, um, AV channel on your television. With a HDMI cable, this is not always the case. Often it's necessary to come along, and on this television remote control here, you simply hit the AV source button, and it brings you up the list of options. So it's, it's already set to the HDMI cable here, so that's it. So you can see the clarity of the, the resolution there. Uh, so what we do then is we come along, this box here has been pre-programmed, and if I just come along and just hit OK, um, we can actually choose a HD uh, cable uh, directly, okay? So hopefully you can see the difference there. The picture is fabulous regardless, but HD, uh, HD obviously gives a higher resolution. Currently there's about two um, HD channels that are available for free, but as time goes on, that's BBC HD, uh, Lux HD, also sometimes ITV uh, HD is available for the European soccer matches. But over the next year or so, the number of, of, um, of HD channels will definitely explode. There's about 20 subscription ones that are available through Sky. But that's it from beginning to end, full installation of a, a satellite box. Uh, a, H a smart HD satellite box.